must protect the one for Doomhammer. I don't think there's anything that is worth lightning bolting against Druid in the early game. I'll go ahead and uh, sweep this. Well, it's a better hand. I would get rid of the two Earth Shocks, but the Ooze Feral Spirit is good. My greetings. Greetings, friend. Play than the feral spirit. Yes. I don't want to leave this situation as is. Looks like I got a feral here. The next turn, I'll have three. I'll coin the yeti. And the question is, do I want to hit this? I think so. That didn't hurt too much. Takes a Starfall and an Innervate to um, basically 2 for 2 my cards. Oh, 3 for 2, since it's a Starfall, a uh, Tazdingo, and an Innervate. Uh, Yeti's good, so the next turn I can play Argent. Question and answer. Doesn't allow him to play Argent Commander next turn, but... Next turn. Looks like it'll suck. Hopefully I draw something good. Truth is my shield. Hmm... So many people run Ancient of- Nah, I can't do the Earth Shock. I don't think you can remove both uh, wolves reasonably though, so I'll push for the extra 2 damage. I must safeguard the get extra value out of this guy. I think it's just trading for the 4-2. This guy can trade with this guy with the Defender Vargas. 3-5, 3-2. Alternative play Argent Commander. We'll end up trading with that guy. Could also hit him for 8. Nah, probably not worth. When I think about my play from two turns ago on lightning storming one guy and not finishing it off, that uh, may have cost me the game. I felt it was so important to spend the mana there, but it wasn't. I've been uh, getting excessive exuberance after the last few games. It's just against a druid, it felt like the lightning storm wasn't going to be useful. But it wasn't going to be that useless. Where shall I strike? I don't know what drove me to, to play. But sometimes... You get hit by a bout of insanity. Sometimes. Hmm. It's actually a combo. Mana Tide plus Taunt Totem.
Just a little bit of a problem. It's alright. I don't have my healing totem. Truth is my shield. Something good. That is not good. The light protects me. The light protects me. Oh my gosh. Disaster catastrophe. <laughs> what are five cards you don't want to see in this matchup? Hmm. It does seem to be more of the control type of uh, hunter, at least, and that's saving me a bit. I could do lightning storm, lightning bolt. Uh, that would be overload three. That's fine. Fortunately, the pressure isn't that big. It's not a fast hunter deck. Most likely hasn't unleashed the hounds by now, so I'm very concerned about putting out more than the one guy. So I'll put out just one guy. It could also be the flame tongue totem yeti, but I'd like to only have two guys out. This uh, totem is a liability right now. It's a silly totem. Hmm. Earthshock would be pretty good. Imagine. He's representing um, explosive trap, but it could be misdirection. Explosive trap is somewhat good in that it clears off guys that are useless to me. Misdirection has a 50 50 of ending quite badly. We'll see. I feel like if I only uh, try to keep one guy out on the board, I'm going to lose. Uh, so I'm going to have to try to keep three guys out on the board. Two guys is reasonable for a bit. Definitely a control hunter. try to end this quickly since I have a maximum of five turns and being at that much health is no good well here we go the doggies oh no just no oh, but whatever I lose I'm pretty sure wow well played. you sure uh, controlled me well there Back to the start. I must protect the one for Doomhammer. Hmm. Mediocre. Give me that insane hand again. Good enough. Pretty good even. Above average.
Thank you to uh, Smarties for Alls for your donation. Leaves a message of uh, here are some Smarties token to help you along the way. Much love from the UK. Thanks from the UK. Ooh, that's pretty good. Unbound, unbound into feral. Maybe I can get the unbound into unbound into feral lightning bolt drill again. The dream. Oh, one. Hmm, wrath, wrath. That represents that he didn't like his hand, otherwise he would have Wrath here abilityed. Where shall I strike? Oh, that's a pretty good card. I'll hex that. With the uh, Wild Growth, he's Ruppered. He has a higher chance of having high quality cards near the end, but still, that card that early, it's gotta be a hex. I only had uh, 4 mana to deal with a 6 or 5 mana drop. Well, which I guess isn't that crazy. Wait, how did that happen? Hmm. I went second. He has six, and then, uh, oh yes. I can either go totem three, or that news. I'm gonna do the totem because it looks like I'm running out of place. Or maybe I'm saving the ooze for the druid's weapon. One of those two plans. This is strange. What's with all these sunwalkers in Ancient of Wars as of late? I feel like there's been some sort of memo handed out and I missed out on it. Did you get the memo? Oh, I missed it. Alright, Earth Shock instead of Hex. That'll be enough to kill it with the wolf. One, three, five, seven. Although if I get the spell damage, totem, then I could just lightning bolt. Saving the loss pretty good. Okay, I'll do it anyways. The axe. Another turn of not playing the ooze. I must safeguard the land. Seems to be a very anti aggro deck. Which theoretically I should have a favorable matchup against. The key here is whether or not he can deal with the flame time totem. That's like the key card that I have out here. Actually save the hex. So that'd be four. That's a two two. Saving a hex at the cost of two totems and using an earth shock instead of a hex. That's a good deal. That would actually be three. And I could actually save this totem also. Surprisingly, this deck seems to be really strong against the anti anti aggro decks. Nice. I like that. Though it would have also been nice to shock at. 
But I seem to be out of Urshax. very scary position uh, knowing that the card in my hand is very bad but the remaining cards in my deck are quite strong I've still got both Azure Drakes both uh, fire elementals and both Argent commanders in it I've drawn most of the weak cards in my deck Thanks to the flame tongue, I should be able to deal with the Ragnaros. Uh, hope it doesn't hit the flame tongue. I guess. Oh, huh, that's a guy. <sighs> and yet, a lightning storm. If it does three, I use the ooze. If it does four, I use the two totems. What to do? Yeah, okay. I could also just go to the face. Then why did I cast Lightning Storm? Nah, I I've committed to this plan. I only deal two less damage. Get him! <laughs> oh man, I'm completely out of gas here. I do die to the Savage Roar Force of Nature combo. Um, gee, I don't even know if this deck, though, can afford to run those cards. Probably not. It's sort of sad that Black Knight might have been the only out he had there <laughs> for the type of totem I had. Where shall I strike? Still one damage short. He has to kill the flame tongue. That's the thing providing the most damage right now. It's basically a 4-3. Hmm, I guess the left ooze would also make sense there. That's not... Mm. Oh. There's so good cards in my deck. So many good cards. Just need to draw one of them. The Fire Elementals work, the Argent Commanders work, the Azure Drakes into something work, Lightning Bolt, Rock Biter. What else do I have? Defender of Argus, I think, would work. There's no point to use the axe now. I've already gone through the other axe. So, I mean, this two damage is probably being used at his face, but no point in using it now. Over later. Oh, thank goodness. Oh! <laughs> that's not lucky, that's as unlucky as I can get. Well, that's not true, but... It was on the unlucky side of things. The mirror. Earth shock. Is that any good? Some shamans run loot hoarder in Argent Square. Uh, Blood Mage Thalnos would be good, but I think overall this is a weak card. When I look at my deck, there's nothing good that Earth shock would hit.
three, four, five, six. The light protects me. Hmm. Garden Square. Got the earth shock, but it's not important enough. There are a lot of different ways to build a shaman deck, so this one could be similar to mine, could be radically different. Hmm, X. Okay. Turns out my uh, unbound elemental was only a 2 4 with this hand, but not something he should know. So, I'm sort of happy about that hex. If only I had a earlier drop. I can't really play the Earth Shock here. Mm. Unless I also want to play Ooze. Mm. And yet it loses the Yeti if I don't play it. I'll play the Ooze. Decks from Doomhammer. I have to give him the chance to play that first, I think. Is he making the same decision whether or not to play an ooze? I don't know, maybe. I wonder. We have Some people are criticizing me for playing the Azure Drake before uh, Totoning, but this deck has nothing that I would play on too. Other than Totem. So it turns out to not matter at all. But it's fair that it's a good uh, general rule of thumb. I mean, what would I have played instead of... Okay, it's true. If I drew into Stormforged Axe, I would have played it. Okay, fair point. 3, 6, 8. Uh, let's see, next turn I'll have 7. You just played a Lightning Storm. And this is generally more than... It's required. I think I'm starting to want to totem each turn. Hmm, pretty good value. Although I should be able to take out that um, totem if it's naked. Or two, or I could earth shock it, but better not to. My seal for Argon. Damage on him doesn't really matter. One damage on that totem, who knows? There seems to be some comments in the chat about how earth shocking in the situation where there is a 0-3 uh, flame tongue totem and a 0-2 taunt totem. I earth shocked the flame tongue totem and I killed the uh, taunt totem, thus providing him with a 0-2. I could have instead earth shocked the taunt totem, leaving him with a 0-1 taunt totem and then used the A to kill the flame tongue. That is marginally better, yes. Good catch. To Not too obvious. I mean, the difference is tiny, but... You never know when these things might matter, like this thing is at 1 health instead of him being at 29. You never know when that might matter. Wow, instead of the 3-3, three, three, went with the 1-3 with the spell damage. 
That turns out to be correct. Uh, no, it's alright. Hopefully I get the spell damage totem again. And then 5-8. Oh, nice. This might mean that the, uh, I kill it outright or I use the 1-1 to finish it off. Alright. Yes, searing totem. Doing work. Big turn. Yeah, I killed the Wrath of Air Totem out of fear of that, but it worked out. It's been a while since I've seen Alec here. Bad card. Definitely an option to run it. I've drawn a lot of the high quality cards uh, this time around. Uh, in this matchup, the Azure Drakes, the Argent Commanders. Um, I think I've been low on the Fire Elementals, but I can't complain given that I th think it's been two Azure Drakes and two Argents. Five, seven, eight. Totem. Other options. I wonder. Six, eight. Totem. No, this is most efficient. Guide. Look in real good shape here. Let me gatekeep you from legend. Because I'm the shaman who deserves to be up there. That belongs in a museum. Oh. Just got museumed. <laughs> oh man. The Doomhammer. Harrison Jones. Would have been his dream. I imagine. 4, 8, 10, 12, uh. I'm very close. Alright, substantially less now. Argent, Flame Tongue. Flame Tonguing this one. I would want the healing totem, which is guaranteed. Uh, 7, 5. Hit. Hit, hit, hit. And with quite a lot of mana left over, I will pass the turn. Fine. Yeah, whoops, I almost did that wrong. Which he has been saving forever. Goodness. My shield for Argus. Ooh. Oh, and I don't even know the spell damage totem out yet. Here we go. Yep, oh, missed the damage. Whatever. Go for it, Sidney Totem. Four, eight. In case of Lightning Storm. I'll hold it. Oh, this could be a really interesting way to have lethal. Oh, this is like a puzzle. Do you guys see the lethal on the board right now? Wait, no, it's obviously not lethal. Hold on, I'm done. I've got to use. Well, I guess that's lethal. I was thinking of something dumb. I don't even want to say, because it was so dumb. It wasn't lethal. 